Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for the 5th through to the 8th of April 2013. A significant coronal hole formation has just rotated the northeastern limb of the solar corona and I feel this may be a foreshadow of a very strong earthquake potential here on the earth and it may reach 7.7 .7 magnitude during this watch. We're now looking at the latest coronal hole information via solon.info where we see the emergence of a very large coronal hole formation in the northern hemisphere of the solar corona. Now this very large coronal hole formation has doubled in size over the last 48 hours and this may be indicative of a very powerful earthquake in the northern hemisphere from mid to high latitudes during this watch. We're now using the SEO composite moving imagery and focusing on two areas within this coronal hole which is of interest for this watch. Now we need to mark the strongest and the weakest parts of this coronal hole formation to determine a possible location for this large earthquake potential here on the earth. The strongest part of this coronal hole formation is 18 to 26 degrees north latitude, but the main area of focus is slightly north of this region marked in yellow, and I have focused on 29 to 36 degrees after further analysis as a main area for concern during this watch. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE, where we see solar winds are falling from 600 kilometers a second three days ago to current levels of 400, and this should continue to fall in the coming days. Now it is expected on April 5 and 6 solar wind speeds should fall under 315 kilometers a second and this should give a green light for very strong earthquake potentials here on the earth. We're now looking at the latest VSL animated forecast map where we have the earth represented as a black dot moving across from right to left and we do see the large coronal hole formation which will become geo-effective or moving through an earth facing position on April 5 to April 6. We're now using Solar Monitors 335, 211 and 193 Angstrom images and from this we see a very prominent feature on all filter ranges. This very large and lateral coronal hole formation will start to move through an earth facing position on the 3rd of April but the rear flank will follow a few days later and that's where I feel a very strong earthquake potential may be. I'll now map and plot some regions on the earth that I feel will be most at risk for this significant earthquake based on solar symmetry mapping this very large coronal hole formation to the earth. Now my number one area for concern as this coronal hole formation does appear to have a very strong Asian profile will be for the Tibetan Plateau, specifically the regions of Western Zhejiang, Western Sichuan, or the Southern Qinghai regions in China. My second area for concern during this watch will be for the Japan region, specifically off the south coast of Honshu, Japan, the Izu Islands region or eastern Honshu, Japan. Across the Pacific, the west coast of the United States of America could also be at risk as it falls into the 29 to 36 degrees latitude zone that I am concerned with for this watch, specifically Southern California, Baja California and even the Gulf of Californian regions. And finally, it's worth keeping a very close eye on El Hierro, the volcano, which is currently experiencing a very strong earthquake swarm in the Canary Islands. Now this may see another further escalation in activity due to this very large coronal hole formation during this watch. We're now looking at a series of anomalies that have been registered over the last 72 hours with regards to solar data. Two very strong spikes were registered on the 29th of March on the Harp induction magnetometer. Very strong readings, perhaps the strongest for two years. We also had strong readings on the global ionospheric map reaching 16 megahertz in two locations just south of Krakatau and also Antofagasta in Chile. Now these are very strong readings and also the strongest for around six months. Also on the 29th of March a very strong disturbance was registered on the total electron content data. This was followed up a day later by a strong scintillation index spike very close to the Canary Islands or the volcano El Hierro which is currently experiencing a very strong earthquake swarm. There was also over the last 24 hours a strong proton spike. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for the 2nd of April 2013. For more information please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.